Hello cookbook friends! My name is Carrie with Cookbook Divas and today I want to look through Bento Power by Sarah Kayo Popawa of She's So Delicious, which I'm assuming is a blog. Brilliantly balanced lunchbox recipes. Now I work at home so I don't get to take a lunchbox to work, but if I did I would love it to be a bento box. This came out in 2019. Oh, so far good photography. The publisher, it's a Hachette UK. It's Kyle Books. Let's check out the table of contents. Starts off with her story, bento ritual, kitchen tools, sustainable, five colors, five elements, base recipes, breakfast and sweet bento, 15 minute bento, that would be my favorite, everyday bento, and then fantasy bento. And then unusual ingredients explained at the back. Okay, introduction. I'm not sure what she's doing to her face right here. Well, I'll find out later. Okay, gorgeous photography to start off with. Woo! Telling her story, how to pack a bento box step by step. I love it. I actually own several bento boxes and that's ridiculous because I don't leave the house for work and so I don't use them, but I look at them. How to wrap in a furoshiki some of the supplies you might need. This is a comp more comprehensive book than I thought. And how you layer your chopsticks in there. Here are the five colors that you use when creating bento. Some placement and arrangement charts. Nice. Here comes the chapter about base recipes. Japanese white rice. Lots and lots of info to get it right. I just use my rice cooker, but I'm very good at rinsing my rice. Quinoa, brown grain, short rice, lots and lots of options and ways to serve it. Oh, now I'm hungry for rice. I thought I was making pasta tonight. Miso rice, farm rice, happy monk rice, sister power rice. Ooh, lots of kinds. Uh, things to put on top for a cocky seasoning. Uh, sesame salts that you can put on top. Seasoned nuts and seeds. Overnight eggs, how to make them. That'll be interesting. Breakfast and sweet bento. Now I'm just going to pick a couple because I can't show you the whole book. Sesame snap granola. Gluten-free mighty muesli. Savory banana bread. I didn't expect to see that in here. That's cool. Mood boosting cacao balls. Fluffy grain-free pancakes with overnight chia jam. And while I will never make chia jam, that is an adorable little bento box. Breakfast granola crumble. Oh, here we go. No bake matcha brownies. Would you eat a green brownie? I like matcha, so I would, but that would have not been something I would have done five or ten years ago. 15 minute bento. This is a granola salad bento. Or cold tofu scramble bento. It's so beautiful. A Tack for Fisk Smorgasen Bento. I'm sure I just mispronounced that. Suddenly we're in Norwegian or Swedish. Thai Massaged Greens Bento in a jar. Spicy Bamboo Garden Bento. Yum, that looks amazing. Lazy Zaru Soba Bento. Pasta Surprise Bento. I love surprises. Baltic Sea Samurai Bento. Everyday Bento. Okay. Here's a variety of bento and pulled king oyster mushrooms and smoky maple roasted something. Beets? Yes, beets. Okay. Green theme bento. Looks delicious. Beautiful balance bento. Gorgeous. I think this is my favorite chapter so far. Red velvet quinoa bento. Wow, I've never heard of such a thing. That's really cool. Lady power moon bento. Did we just get into the fantasy section? I'm not sure. Romari Mushroom Bento. I don't know what a Romari Mushroom is, but I love mushrooms. Magenta Mash Bento. Look at those great colors. Winter Jewels Bento. Oh, I have to show you this picture. Gorgeous. Okay. Smashed Wakame Beans Bento. Okay, can I find another chapter? Ooh, step by step to make Onigirazu, a sushi sandwich. I'm sure I just mangled that pronunciation, sorry. Tamago yaki bento and seed omelet bento. I love eggs. And a how-to with step-by-step -step photos. This is a great cookbook. Here's a zen bento. Purple and green quick pickle bento. 
and let's get to another chapter. Grandmother's Dill Zucchini Bento. Sounds good. I don't know if we're in fantasy yet. I'd, oh, this is pretty. Check out what's going on up there. That is a after the show bento tofu sandwich skewers. And now we're in the fantasy bento section. Uh, so much creative magic can happen within the bounds of a box. Here are a dreamy handful of gems from my bento journey to date, such as a starry sky bento and Snow White Bento. Snow White was one of her favorite tales as a kid. She explains more about it, and I won't read it to you because you can read it later. And Fairy Jewel Box Bento. So that is Bento Power by Sarah Kayo Papawa. That is really awesome. It's way more comprehensive than I thought. I'm going to learn a lot more from it when I turn off this camera and sit down to read it more slowly and carefully. I hope you enjoyed this cookbook look through. You can see more of them at cookbookdivas.com or on our YouTube channel. We have a Cookbook Divas podcast if you'd like to listen to news about upcoming cookbooks. And we post cookbook content to Facebook and Instagram, both including rules, reels with cookbook flip throughs. Be sure to drop us a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. And we'll hope that you'll subscribe if you'd like to see some more. I'll see you in the next video.